Hi there, this is Neil at Italia Auto Parts, and in this video I'm going to show you how to change a lower wishbone on an Alpha 159 Orbrera. There are probably several ways of doing this, uh, but I like to remove the hub because it then gives me all the room I could ever need to change the wishbone. To start with, I'm going to start by removing this cover here to give me access to the bolts a little bit easier on this side. And then I'm going to remove the lower bolt on the hub and then start removing the other bolts which hold the hub in place and then I'm going to uh, put the hub out of the way so I can then remove the wishbone nice and easily. This bolt is a 22mm. Now whilst everything's still done up, I'm going to hit this lower ball joint with a wishbone to free it off. Sometimes it can be very difficult to get off. Luckily, that one was quite easy. Now I'm going to do the hub nut with a 36mm socket. Now the top wishbone nut I'm going to undo with a 17mm. Now another persuasive tap with a hammer and that should free off. Now the final bolt to undo on the hub is the tie rod end which is an 18mm nut. And again a little tap with the hammer to get that free. And now the hub's free, I'm just going to knock the drive shaft out and then secure the hub over to one side with a bungee cord. Okay, I'm going to undo three bolts now. The first two which hold the wishbone on and the bolt here which holds the suspension on to the wishbone. Now it's a 21mm nut and a T20 Torx female connection. So I'm going to undo that now. And the two bolts holding the uh, wishbone on are 21mm nuts and they are very tight normally. Don't usually break the bar on them. And this one's going to be better to use a spanner on it. Okay, now the final bolt you need to undo here are a couple of uh, Torx bolts, but holding them above are 18mm uh, nuts, so you need to make sure you've got a spanner on top of there while you undo these here. Okay, now all three bolts are removed. 
from here, you've already done the two from here, we just need to make sure we can move the uh, wishbone out now. It can stick in sometimes, but hopefully this one's nice and loose, and it is. Time to start putting the other one back in. Right, it can be quite fiddly to get it back in, so what I normally do is hold the drive shaft up out the way, so then you can line up the wishbone and also pull the uh, suspension out as well for it to come in nice and easily. Just line it up underneath like that, pull the suspension forwards, watch your fingers if you don't pinch them. Make sure it's all to be in place. hammer and give it a bit of a tap and actually slide in. And then knock the top in as well. And you start by putting all the bolts back in loosely. The ones you need to be more careful of, threading these two in here. You do need to get them perfectly lined up because they are very easy to cross thread these bolts. Also handy tip is a long screwdriver, just so you can line up the bolt hole. Now. now I have put some grease on the end of these bolts to help uh, locate them a bit easier. Oh, that's not lined up yet. Those two bolts are in. I can't emphasize enough when you do that part, make sure you don't double thread them. You need to make sure everything's lined up perfectly. Grease your nuts and then put them in very slowly. Because if the wishbone isn't perfectly lined up, you can very easily think you're tightening it up, but you're not, you're just double threading it. And then uh, it's very difficult to rectify. So now I'm gonna tighten everything back up now on the wishbones and then start putting everything back together. If you do find that this nut won't tighten up because it's just spinning, you just need to put a little bit of leverage through the shocker onto the end of the arm. And then the pressure holding the nut in should give you some room to uh, get it up. Just like that. Okay, once you think you've got everything tight, double check, triple check everything's tight, torque everything up to the recommended settings, take it for a test drive, make sure everything's working as it should, 
The bang you probably had from the suspension should hopefully be gone. And just drive it gently for a few miles and just make sure everything's okay on the car. So that's how to change a wishbone on an Alpha 159 on a Brera. Hopefully I've taught you some of the pitfalls that you can get while doing this job and you'll be able to do it on your driveway at home. Um, it is fairly simple to do. You just need to make sure you're doing everything right and everything's lined up because you can make easy mistakes by cross-threading bolts. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Uh, please like and subscribe and comment below uh, what you think or any other questions that I can answer for you. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.